You may know viruses as the cause of nasty diseases and global pandemics, but they are not all bad. In fact, most viruses are completely harmless to people and some are even potentially beneficial. Case in point, viruses have recently been explored as agents that can help the body fight off cancer. These viruses are known as oncolytic viruses and they represent a promising approach to treating cancer for several reasons. First, cancer cells often have impaired antiviral defenses due to the mutations that make them more susceptible to infection. This means that a virus that cannot infect healthy cells might still potently infect and kill cancer cells which have reduced defenses such as impaired interferon responses. Second, viruses that preferentially infect cancer cells can be engineered to give them advantageous properties including decreasing their ability to infect healthy cells as well as granting them the ability to deliver therapeutic payloads specifically to tumors and produce immune boosting molecules once they infect tumor cells. After infection, these oncolytic viruses can cause cancer cells to burst or lyse, killing the cancer cells and releasing cancer antigens. These antigens can then stimulate immune responses that can seek out and eliminate any remaining tumor cells nearby and potentially anywhere else in the body. Let's touch a bit more on how oncolytic viruses work. Oncolytic viruses have long been viewed as tools for directly killing cancer cells. However, a growing body of research suggests that some oncolytic viruses may work, at least in part, by triggering an immune response in the body against cancerous cells. When a virus infects a tumor cell, the virus makes copies of itself within the cell until it bursts in the process of cell lysis. The dying cancer cell releases materials such as tumor antigens that allow the cancer to be recognized or seen by the immune system. This works through antigen presenting cells which are able to bind the released tumor antigens and deliver them to adaptive immune cells such as cytotoxic T lymphocytes. This presentation of tumor antigen to cytotoxic T cells activates and primes them for killing other cancer cells which also have that antigen. Furthermore, oncolytic viruses can be modified to locally produce immune enhancing molecules such as the cytokine interleukin-12. IL-12 is a potent anti-cancer cytokine that promotes immune cell activation and recruitment to tumors while inhibiting tumor growth by suppressing angiogenesis. Through the described mechanisms, oncolytic viruses help alert the immune system that something's wrong and this can lead to a local immune response against nearby tumor cells or a systemic response that clears tumor cells in other parts of the body in addition to the treated tumor. Therefore, oncolytic viruses can be considered an immunotherapy that enhances the immune system's ability to recognize and fight cancer cells. Let's summarize the mechanism of oncolytic viruses. First, the oncolytic virus tailored to a specific cancer is administered through intratumoral injection. The virus can then selectively infect cancer cells which are good hosts because they divide rapidly and have impaired antiviral defenses. After completing replication, the virus directly lyses its host cancer cell and proceeds to infect other cells in the tumor. Cancer cells killed by the oncolytic virus will release viral and tumor antigens that are picked up by antigen-presenting cells. These antigen-presenting cells will then travel to lymph nodes where the antigens will activate specialized T-cells which can recognize the cancer and the virus. T-cells will then localize to the site of the tumor to clear cancerous and virus-infected cells. Thus, the oncolytic virus treats the tumor through a combination of direct cell lysis and recruitment of an anti-tumor T-cell response. In conclusion, oncolytic viruses present an exciting new avenue to treat certain forms of cancer. Approved viral therapies such as TVEC have already helped people recover from inoperable melanoma. Going forward, the field of viral oncolytics will aim to build upon current research to develop treatments for patients with other forms of cancer. Towards that goal, oncolytics are also being tested in combination of other immunotherapies such as checkpoint inhibitors with promising results that are superior to either therapy alone. Viruses could one day prove to be an invaluable therapeutic option in the fight against cancer.